hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to crochet this beautiful flower coaster so for this project i have used milk cotton yarn and for this project i have used 4 mm crochet hook and we need scissor so hope you will like it if you like the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new more videos so let's get started start with a slip knot then make chain 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring so start with the first round so first make 3 chain 1 2 and 3 so this 3 chain count as 1 double crochet now make 23 double crochet in this circle one two three four five Six. so continue up to end it will turn total 24 double crochet including this chain so here I have completed the first round now slip stitch in this top of chain now work for round two first make three chain one two and three this three chain count as one double crochet now make one double crochet in next stitch make two chain one and two make one double crochet in next two stitches one and two make two chain make one double crochet in next two stitches one and two make two chain so let's see the pattern again make one double crochet in next two stitches one and two make two chain so continue up to end so here i have completed the second round now make two chain so slip stitch in this top of chain so here i have completed the second round now work for third round so first make slip stitch in this next stitch Make slip stitch in these two chain space. Make three chain one, two, and three. 
this three chain count as one double crochet make one double crochet in same chain space so here I have got two double crochet then make one chain make two double crochet in same chain space one and two make two double crochet in next chain space one and two make one chain make two double crochet in same chain space one and two so let's see the pattern again make the v-stitch in this next two chain space one and two make one chain make two double crochet in same chain space one and two so continue up to end so here I have completed the third round now slip stitch in this top of chain now work for round four so slip stitch in this next stitch slip stitch in this one chain space now make three chain one two and three this three chain count as one double crochet now make one double crochet in same stitch so here I have got two double crochet now make two chain then make two double crochet in same chain space one and two make two double crochet in next chain space one and two make two chain make two double crochet in same chain space one and two so let's see the pattern again make two double crochet in next chain space one and two make two chain and make two double crochet in same chain space one and two so continue up to end so here i have completed the fourth round now in the last slip stitch in this top of chain so now work for round 5 so slip stitch in this next stitch make slip stitch in this 2 chain space now make 3 chain 1 2 and 3 this 3 chain count as 1 double crochet now make 2 double crochet in same chain space 1 and 2 make 2 chain make 
three double crochet in same chain space one two and three make three double crochet in next chain space one two and three make two chain and make three double crochet in same chain space one two and three so let's see the pattern again make three double crochet in this next chain space one two and three make two chain make three double crochet in same chain space one two and three so continue up to end so here I have completed the fifth round now in the last slip stitch in this top of chain now work for round six make the petal so slip stitch in this next stitch now make nine double crochet in next chain space one two three four five six seven eight and nine make single crochet in this double crochet space so this is the first petal so let's see the pattern again make nine double crochet in this chain space one two three four five six seven eight and nine then make single crochet in this double crochet gap so this way make all the petals so here I have completed round six now in the last make single crochet in this double crochet gap now give a knot and cut the extra yarn now pull this yarn now turn the work simply you have to secure this yarn so insert hook like this you can also use needle to secure it now pull this yarn like this in this back side
now cut these extra yarn so this is the beautiful flower coaster thanks for watching